Hi, I'm Helmut Licht. Thank you for joining me for this video entitled The Great Experiment. It is an experiment, which means I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Hopefully it will turn out great, but we will have to see until the very end. I came across a book called The Chameleon. It deals with the seven hermetic principles and laws and axioms and aphorisms. And I've read the book several times. And each time I read it, I discover new meanings and the same words that I read before. Uh, it's like I read a romantic novel and uh, I enjoyed it. And then after I read it, I decided to take a course in writing. In that course, I learned different techniques like developing a character, developing a subplot, and so on. So after I take the course, I read the same book, a romantic novel, but I'm now seeing other things in those words and sentences. I see character development and I see plots and subplots and so on. Whatever I learned in that course, I see those things now. So it's the same book, it's the same sentences and words. However, as I read them, new meanings are attached to those words. One of the hermetic laws discussed in the book is called the Law of Correspondence. And as above, so below, or as below, so above. And you find a beautiful example of that law in the Lord's Prayer, where it says, on earth, as it is in heaven, or in heaven as it is on earth. Well, I've decided to expand this law sideways. And I say to myself, as it is without, so it is within. And on this particular law, the variation of it, I have based my experiment. Let me explain. For many years, I've been taking about four times a week a certain road to get to a certain neighborhood north of Baltimore called Towson. Nothing much has changed over the years. Maybe a little new house over here, maybe a new sidewalk, a new fence, but nothing major. The beginning of November, I looked to my left and I saw where there used to be trees. They were gone. The ground was dug up and they had tractors and trailers and bulldozers and huge, like sewer pipes, hundreds of them lying there. Let me show you what I mean. As I looked at this new construction site, I had a momentary inspiration, I suppose. And I thought of the law of correspondence, but the variation that I made, which says, as without, so within. And I thought to myself, if the law really works, I can activate it through spirit. And then whatever is being built over here will also, something corresponding to it will also be built in my life within me, 
my body maybe. And then whenever this out here will be finished, whatever spirit builds in my life will also be finished. It will be as new and pretty, I'm sure, and exciting as this site over here will be. Probably a development or maybe a retirement community, I have no idea. But whatever it will be, it will be new and exciting and beautiful. And then whatever is being built then within me in my life will be equally new, exciting and beautiful. So we have a situation now where something is happening externally that I will use by using and energizing the law of correspondence to bring something correspondingly into my life. I, I think it's safe to say for me that of all the people passing this construction site, no one is going to do this. They're probably going to just look at it and have their own thoughts about it. So all that is left to do now is uh, to hand the law of correspondence over to spirit, what I call spirit. And then let spirit handle the situation from here on. So what I do, I have created a short affirmation, if you may. And here it is, and I say this each time I pass the construction site. Spirit is creating over there something beautiful, new, and exciting. Through the law of correspondence, Spirit is also creating something equally beautiful, new, and exciting in my life. When the project out there is complete, the project in my life will also be complete. And I look forward to realizing and experiencing it. This concludes the explanatory part of the video. I noticed there was an inflection in my glasses. And uh, what I will do from here on, I will take a brief video of the construction site once a week to keep myself and you informed of the progress. And if anything would happen in my life that might correspond to the construction site, you know what I mean, I will let you know immediately. Like I said, this is an experiment. I have no idea how it's going to end up, but nothing ventured, nothing gained. Thank you for your interest. Have a great day. Have a great year. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you.
Thank you.